Hi everyone, T here, and today I wanted to start a 12 days of Christmas Photoshop related. Uh, so everyone is doing Vlogmas or 12 days of Christmas or whatever Christmassy theme thing. And I wanted to jump in since I wanted to use the hashtags and all that on my description and I really could use the views. Um, but yeah, I thought, what can I do to help me out here and make it good for you guys? So I thought, okay, why don't you do 12 little tutorials about things that people ask you about? So yeah, I just want to split my editing process into 12 parts and each one would be a specific thing. thing. So for today, it's blending. Um, I, I got a, a lot of questions on my last two images, I think. Um, mostly the girl on the thing. That uh, photo really grabbed a lot of attention and a lot of people asked me, how the hell do you do this? So I today wanted to explain it. So yeah, okay, on the left side, we have the original shot and on the right side we have the final blended shot. It's not perfect, it's not finished, but it's almost there. Like if I started from here doing color grading and all of that, like I would feel okay. That's how I'm feeling about that. So yeah, um, this is by, by the way, uh, just so we credit everyone. The city photo that I use here is by Roland Dennis and um, Mountains thing. This thing, this thing here, is by Will Threatner. Threatner, I think. Yeah, links in the description below. Everything is from Unsplash, and yeah. Okay, let's start by unchecking everything because yeah, we need to see the original edit so as you can see i just masked it like i masked this one to feel like it's behind the city i will be explaining that in the next video or one of the 12 um but yeah first thing is to do mask why a mask so you can edit it if it's not perfect if you erase the original shot it's more destruction it just Destructive thing. And I really prefer working with uh, masking. So, yeah. Okay, so after I masked everything, you can see right here that it's just like two completely different colors, values, everything. It's not like mashing. So, oh shit. <laughs> so, the first thing I do almost every single time is to grab the original shot. Okay, so this shot here, I grab that and I put it at like 10% or 15%, whatever. And I just play with the blending mode until I see something that I, like, that catches my eye. So yeah, that's what I did here. I grabbed the original shot, 10%. Sometimes I do like a little bit of Gaussian blur just so it doesn't uh, like really hurt, hurt the um, final image or the underneath image. But since this is a sky and everything is like masked, it really doesn't hurt. It's, it doesn't have lines. It doesn't have anything that could mess up the um, underneath image. So yeah, that was the first thing. The second thing I did was finding that, this image. So this is by Melanie Magdalena. It's from Unsplash 2, it's just a moon. And I cut out the moon with masking again. And I did uh, use two, one in normal mode, and then I put one on top in screen. Everything below the 10% uh, opacity original shot, doing the first layer of color uh, on our unblended image. Then from there, I fixed the color from the moon, and I used the um, this shot. I content filled the space with the um, moon and with that shot I did the same thing that I did with the original one here um, so I used the 
purpley blue in soft light and did it at 70% just to make the whole um, background a bit more nighttime-ish and overall feeling like it belongs. I don't know. It works for me. Like in my eyes, it looks a uh, good. So the last thing I did was with the gradient tool, this one here, I picked um, the light color. So in this case, like this orange, whatever. And I did a, bu a bunch of like um, gradients trying to emulate the light that's coming off of the city. I did that and then on top I used this bluish teal thing, color, whatever, and tried to make it look like it belongs. So yeah, basically what I do, it's three steps, it's really easy. Original shot in like 15 or 10% opacity and just blending mode it up, usually like um, overlay and stuff light really work for this. Uh, even like in normal, um, it sometimes works. If like for for this specific image, I think it works. I really don't mind it being like that. I don't know. I, I just like the subtract one. It creates a, a little bit of more intention to the image, like more contrast. And I like it. I don't know. Yeah, after that, do some blending with colors. Uh, you could do it using a brush or you can do it using a whole image <laughs> but yeah basically this is a one color thing so i could easily do it with a brush and just brush this with that same color and I did that in soft light 70 percent and then do a bit of gradient if you need it uh use a brush with like you can do this let's grab this color that's a light color Click X to change to the foreground color, uh, to the background color, and yeah, we have both of the main colors of the original shot. So yeah, like, you can do basically anything to help blend the image. Okay, so let's say... Okay. Let's say we are trying to emulate more light on the top of the buildings. So put this in soft light. Oh shit, <laughs> that's not soft light at all. Soft light, enter, and then let's put the opacity at like 20-ish. I just think, okay. So you can just go all over the image and try to see, okay, so maybe here it needs a bit more light. Uh, maybe here we don't know what's behind this building so we can think um, Like I don't know it could be another street just like this one and everything. It's like really light and whatever so yeah, or we can maybe like oh uh, Let's add a bit of blue to help everything blend a bit better since the blue is here, it's going to pick up the blue in the sky. It's just a game of like trying to use the same colors over and over and over again just to make everything feel a little bit more poppy. So yeah, you can see like here and here, it makes the image a bit compact. I think that's the word I'm trying to use. Um, like the blue is going to bring this blue, the orangey it's going to bring this. So yeah, or you can do what I did and do the original image with a lot of Gaussian blur and I inverted the um, um, mask and used the soft brush to brush all over the lines. So I could create, oh shit, I could create this fake light glow, whatever it is. So yeah. That's another way of doing it. And finally, to help blend everything, I created a new layer and with a brush at like 10, 10 pixels or something like that, I picked the colors from the moon that are going to be reflecting on the rocks and then just like really with the small brush, 
that's, that's a lot. <laughs> and like 10 opacity in the brush. Just like go all over trying to emulate how the light would hit everything. So yeah, I did that here and here and basically anywhere that fits. I really think it helps the mood. Like it looks like cohesive piece. And lastly, because I don't know, I felt like it needed it. I went back to the original shop and did a bit of levels. That's a really good way of um, blending two images is if one image doesn't have the same levels of black, white and neutrals, it will not feel like it belongs. So what I mean by that, let's say, okay, let's go here to the before artboard. Let's say, let me create a new level thing. So this image here, it's really not that contrasty. It, it, it just isn't. Uh, if you can see, I can like bring up the contrast. Let me just clip mask it here. Uh, I can bring the contrast up. Go away, I need space. Uh, I'm gonna push the blacks, uh, put a bit, bit more color in it and maybe push the whites a bit. And it looks much more like the contrast here, but just so you don't overdo it and don't like kill one image, I tried to split it between the two images I'm using. So in this case, the blacks are really black. So what I would do is push the blacks here a tiny bit just so it all fits you can see like you can make everything really dark like levels is a great tool that a lot of people don't use when they are starting because i think they are afraid or don't just don't understand it i didn't use it for the longest time until i started using it and now i can stop so there's that but yeah i did um a la uh, levels map uh, adjustment layer just to try and make it more like this. Try to put the blacks at the same level. And then I just use saturation, the shit out of that. Uh, took uh, the saturation a bit down, changed the colors to blue and yellowish tones because that that's something that I'm really into right about now. And yeah, I think it's a good start. And just so you know, after this, I would create a new layer with everything and go to camera raw filter. But that's for the next one. So yeah, I really hope you got anything out of this video because I know I ramble, I say a lot of things. I really am all over the place, but um, yeah. I mean good. So see you in the next one. And if you liked it, subscribe, leave a like and a comment and tell me what do you want to see on the next videos. I don't know. See ya. Bye. Okay. Goodbye. 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 Cloud Ralph is the Christmas market. Don't get to me. I'm blending. Poorly made tutorial. Okay.